Hello, Law Blank here. I just wanted to give you a quick idea for a great drafting table with storage that I cobbled together. Now this is uh, one of my kids use and I wanted to give you kind of a finished product because I'm reassembling one in my studio right now. And I'll show you the components of this. So you see you have drawers, you have storage underneath, gap in the middle so you can put some larger pieces and then a tabletop. So pretty quick, easy construction, primarily Ikea based, and let's get started. Now this tabletop, um, I use them for a lot of my things just because they're cheap, easy, I can destroy them and get a new one. Uh, probably cost around 30 bucks for just the tabletop. These do come with legs, as you can see there's a metal leg right back there on my other one, with these nifty little, uh, Whatever those things are called, uh, to hold those legs and very easy to screw on and screw off. Um, and then I added these brackets, which will uh, fasten to the wall, and also a little extra support back there with an L bracket to, uh, to mount it to the wall. Now, let me hoist this up onto my stands. A few quick things before I, I put the top on. You want to get the placement right, and I usually uh, place them the width, the actual width of the table. Uh, for better stabilization. And before you put the tabletop on, you want to kind of get all your power strips you know, kind of plugged in. It's going to be hard to access the back once you, once you get there. So I, I plug two in and put them on either side. And sometimes I'll thread them through here, depending on what my power needs are, sometimes in the middle. I like keeping this open for canvases and paper to kind of hold in there. And also, if you leave enough room in the back, which you can't see, you can store other things, but I'm not going to so let's put the tabletop on. Okay, now I have secured uh, just the bottom of the tabletop on there and you see what it kind of looks like reassembled. And all I did, now these back brackets are really just for support in case, you know, I tend to lean on my surface a lot when I'm painting so I want to have it from kicking back up. So to provide some extra support with these, you want to use uh, some drywall anchor bolts. I already pre-filled the hole. I'll stick these in and just give it some extra support. It's the only drywall. I could find a stud, but that would mean the positioning uh, where I wanted it on the wall wouldn't be right. Um, but all I did was just put that little bolt right there. Um, and these are all bolted down. I guess not as securely as I wanted, but oh, there's my other bolt right back there. Sorry. And the other thing, just to give you an idea of what, you know, these drawers are great. I think $119 for these, but got my paints. Acrylics, cheap acrylics for the kids, my oils, then I store my papers, uh, finished work, and way on the bottom, more finished work. <laughs> and then you have things like staple done, it's not some mess, good work. But hopefully you'll keep yours more organized. But again, there's lots of storage space. I usually put rolls of paper or canvas. Underneath here, brushes, um, toolboxes, anything and everything. Uh, so you can configure these however you want, but just to show, it's very easy, it's quick. This probably took me, when I originally designed it, you know, just about 45 minutes to an hour to put together. So you see, once I disassembled it, reassembled it, it took me less than five minutes. So um, I will put all the information down below on where you can get all these items, what their costs are, and kind of a, a quick outline of how to put it together. Hope you enjoyed this. Cheers.